Meet Vulcan, Birmingham, Alabama's colossal statue. That's him behind me. That statue is the world's largest cast iron statue and considered one of the most memorable works of civic art in the United States of America. Designed by Italian artist Giuseppe Moretti and cast from local iron in 1904, Vulcan has overlooked Alabama's largest city from atop Red Mountain since 1930. But it's difficult to keep this icon in the public eye. The city spends millions promoting it and it really is just the heaviest statue in the world. That's it. That's its entire claim to fame. As a church planner, I want you to think about this. We could produce various things in the church to gather a crowd, but if Jesus isn't the center of it all, it's gonna cost us lots of time and energy to keep people coming. We can promote a series, we can promote an event, we can draw people in the short term, but it's gonna cost us energy and dollars to keep them coming if Jesus isn't at the center. Now, back to Vulcan. By 1999, the 50-ton statue was in desperate need of repair. The surrounding 10-acre park was closed and Vulcan was removed from his pedestal. Realizing Vulcan's importance to the region's history, city leaders sought public support for its restoration, forming the nonprofit Vulcan Park Foundation. The foundation would oversee a master plan to return this colossal statue to its 1904 grandeur. They also created a dynamic educational park complex interpreting Alabama's rich industrial history for both residents and visitors from across the globe. After $15 million and a ton of volunteer labor, here he sits. And I'm one of just a few visitors here, and it's summer. Now let's get back to church planting. If you expect to make an eternal difference as a church planter, Jesus Christ needs to be the center of everything. Not the programs, not the sermons, not the marketing. No other thing can take the place of lifting up Jesus Christ. Jesus said in the book of John, and I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. So pastors, stop erecting statues and start lifting up the cross of Jesus Christ.